So <laughs> it's me over Iki Samson. So I have this message for us about narcissists. You know, the two disease. We have a lot of people around us who take us as a what as nobody as a cheat, who treat us the way they want, they love it, they like, they are cortosis and they will never be satisfied whenever the was no matter what you bring that's why if you are dating a narcissist person just wait to the end of this video <laughs> or you marry to a narcissist person be ready to watch this video to the end you know what i'm saying i bring something special and before i start don't forget to subscribe as i have said earlier you know what i'm saying so if you are dating a narcissist person or you are in a relationship with a narcissist person and you truly love this person and you come to understand that every time there is always a quarrel, there is always a pain. You know, one thing, no matter what you do, no matter how you tried, it will look like you are not doing nothing. And you are getting tired and you don't know the solution. Or maybe you think arguing with them, you know, you know, trying to, even if it's your brother, your sisters, your, your co-friends, if you have someone around you who you know that they are toxic people, just do this thing that I'm about to say. So, one of the things that obsess toxic people constantly is when you try not to give them attention. Yes. <laughs> yes, believe me. And they will start to give you attention. So, if you are dating a toxic person and you are with them in a relationship, and it comes to a point where the, the more you do it, the more you do things, and, and the more you give them attention, you care, you do all sorts of things, it looks like everything you are doing, nothing is working. Every your effort to make it work, all your effort to make things work out, to make things become more better, to make everything become good around you and them, or around you and him, it looks like the more you do, the more the trouble increase. Just guess what? Don't give them too much attention. And another thing you will do is this. Don't do or don't speak too much whenever you are around them. Yes, that will just be the solution. That one that you people are knocking at home, quarreling, you know, trying to lead to violence, uh, you know, domestic violence because of argument, and you, you, uh, maybe you, you don't know the solution, and you are trying to make sure you place him in a position where she belong or where he belong, or you are trying to tell him that he or she is wrong. A narcissist person can never commit to you that he, he or she is wrong. <laughs> that is weird. That is the reason why we have a lot of domestic violence in the world. Because people, most people are what are unable to discover this. A narcissist person can never commit to you that he or she is strong. He will always try to miss to make you feel that you are the one that is always wrong. That is why you need to do this. Be silent. Whenever the argument starts, whenever the quarrel, always feel as if you have earpiece in your ear. Just feel as if you are not doing, you are not hearing nothing. Don't give attention to that argument. Don't give attention to the world. You will come to understand that they will start to do what they will start to do what give attention to you. They will start to make sure they do what they correct their mistake instantly. So make sure, and that is when you start to create what that respect. Because if you are if you are dating or you have people around you whom you always argue with, or they talk to you, you don't re they talk to you, you try to explain to them like that like what they are doing to you is bad or is this. It's just like you explaining to you know uh, a mosquito, telling mosquito that. Uh, uh, the, the biting is too much. <laughs> Think about it. The mosquito will still return back. It's just like you telling your enemy that what they are doing to you is bad. They will keep repeating that. The issue is this. If people are talking bad of you, this is one of the secrets. If people are talking bad of you, saying all manners of you, word, don't just say word. And whenever you are around them, always keep silent. 
always keep silent don't make any speech you know what i'm saying you come to realize that many of them who do who do used to take you for granted who do used to unvalue you disrespect you you come to understand that at the end many of them will start to respect you many of them will start to care about you many of them will start to speak good of you why because they have come to realize and they have that thought they don't know what is in your mind that's why silent is the key to everything if it, that that's why if you are have if, listen if you are dating or you are married to a toxic person just do as i said don't say any word whenever there is what there is argument you have a man who is always angry that is toxic you have a woman who is always angry that is toxicity <laughs> let me put it in this way that is narcissist so whenever there you know that there's something that is that he or she is angry that there's a problem around even if you don't want to work out you can just be there don't don't press your phone because he or she must carry your phone and knock it on the ground to make sure you react just put your phone on your on your on your pocket or drop it somewhere where you know he can't touch it just be there be doing like this as if you are not hearing nothing or if you can start to play music play music or if you if you can walk out walk out you come to understand that at the end of that word that messed up all those things you come to understand that there will still be the one that will come back to you and be pleading so these are the, the these are the things that you used to do to hold nurses it obsesses them too much whenever you are not giving attention to the world attention to the argument attention to the what to the violent it do what it has it obsess them you know what i'm saying it's just like a a, what, a relationship the more you pursue women the more they run but if you keep calm and you start to focus on your dream you start to focus on your goal that your goal and your dream will draw them to you but the moment you leave your dream and you start to pursue them they will they, they do what they will start to run and follow people who are who are pursuing their, their dream you know what i'm saying so this is how narcissist people are we, we do it we always be us this is what obsess them you know what i'm saying this is all i have for you so twin to this learn to do this you will understand that that your marriage will be successful they will not be violent they will not be how you know domestic violent and all everything will be order you know what i'm saying so this is all i have for you remember blessed may god bless you and don't forget to subscribe you know what i'm saying and if you are new you are highly welcome you know what i'm saying so may god bless you